Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The year 2021 has been bloodiest in the history of Indian military aviation with 11 crashes and 22 deaths including India's first CDS General Pipin Rawat. Fatigue is constant and so is the risk associated with it for a fighter pilot sitting in a confined cockpit for long hours. While flying G sorties looks cool, it is physically exhausting for the fighter pilots. As a fighter pilot, you need to perform flawlessly. Even minor levels of underlying fatigue may manifest into critical level of human performance, which can lead to fatal accidents. Therefore, fitness and sound mental health is vital for a fighter pilot as they are exposed to high G levels noise, lower oxygen level and high cognitive workload. This puts lot of physical, psychological and physiological stress on the fighter pilots. The pilots have to fly for long durations confined in a cockpit with little to no physical movement. This has adverse effects on the body and mind. With in-flight refueling, the flight duration has further increased which further increases the fatigue and physical discomfort in the pilots and thus increasing the risk associated to it. We have witnessed the Rafale's delivery from France to India. The pilots flew the aircraft non-stop for over 7,000 kilometers and more than 8 hours of journey. Even though it was a subsonic flight, the pilot has to remain alert and carry out all in-flight procedures besides sitting in the same position in a cramped space for an extremely long time. As per a study published by Indian Air Force Institute of Aerospace Medicine, Bengaluru in 2021, the pain and discomfort following a six-hour prolonged restraint sitting were highly noticeable along with a significant change in the calf circumference and other physiological parameters due to the effects of venous pooling. The effects so observed could have potential flight safety implications and affect mission effectiveness. Due to all these challenges faced by a fighter pilot during the long range and tiring flight, Indian Air Force has started working on developing a real-time health monitoring system for the pilots. This system is going to be like a stick-on patch or a wristband like most of the fitness watches which will continuously monitor and assess the fitness level of pilots. The sensor will be recording parameters like blood pressure, temperature, heart rate and oxygen saturation level continuously at periodic intervals and is integrated with aircraft's communication system so that the information is transmitted to ground control. In case of any abnormality, the sensor can sound an alarm and air traffic controllers and medical specialists can take preventive or corrective steps by advising the crew on how to handle the situation. This will greatly enhance the flight safety as a large proportion of aircraft accidents are attributed to human factors. It will also allow pilots to develop an understanding of their true fatigue levels during both rest and working hours. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.